Okay, so we're going to get started on another series of Let's Play. This time we're going to be playing The Wolf Among Us. Now, The Wolf Among Us is made by Telltale Games. Telltale Games is responsible for The Walking Dead, uh, Season 1 and Season 2, where the actions you take end up changing the story down the line. So uh, your choices have consequences. It's pretty phenomenal. The way it tells a story is great. Now with The Wolf Among Us, it actually tells a story of the fables. So like the Big Bad Wolf, the Three Little Pigs, um, Snow White. Characters like that you're going to find are actually in this game. But the story's a little different than we're normally used to. I, I don't want to spoil it too much, so we're actually going to jump right, right in. Now the game has actually been split up into five different episodes that were released over a period of time. Uh, episode 5 was very recently released, um, and it rounded out Season 1. It was very good, I enjoyed it quite a bit myself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to change the save game to save file 2. This is going to allow us to start a new game. Let's get right into it. We're going to start with Episode 1. Once upon a time, in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fabletown. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago, after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> Say hello to Sheriff Big B. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Hmm. No need to kick up a fuss. Come on, Big B. Say something. Are you starting this? If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. 
You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. He just tosses a cigarette. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. That doesn't sound too friendly. Uh, yeah, you can you can walk around with WASD. I tend to just use the mouse though. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Go ahead and knock on the door. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! All right, everyone. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. God, that has to hurt. I'll go to the bed. And the work table. And into the cabinet. Back off, asshole. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll okay. fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. 
Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Jesus. Well, at least we know know that taxi is a stick shift. Uh, you know, if that was ever in question. Wait, right, that's not a taxi. It's, it's just a yellow car. <laughs> well, I hope their insurance covers that. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> Jesus, come on. Come on out of wall. Oh shit. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Let me help you. I'm gonna let her. Bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Thank you.
feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Yeah, the woodsman's fine. Fables are really hard to kill. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. So not bad. That was uh, episode one. You know, every time I've had the option to give her the matchbook or light her cigarette, I've always lit in her cigarette. Lit and lit her cigarette. I've never given her the matchbook. I'm kind of curious how that works. Oh, that wasn't even the end of episode one. Excuse me. It's the beginning. Well, we're going to go ahead and actually stop right here. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to continue with episode one, Faith. Because we got some juicy stuff coming up and it's it's pretty awesome so far. Uh, but a, a quick look back on what's actually happened so far. We found out, one, that the woodsman is a dick. Toad's an asshole. He has a kid and he doesn't like paying for glamour. His car is wrecked. I'm not quite sure about how his insurance is going to deal with that, but whatever. And we've met a girl named Faith. Now, Faith also happens to be the episode title. So, you know, if I had to make a guess, I'm going to say she's a pretty important character. 
uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please join us back here for another episode of Let's Play coming up.